the rise, but there are some recent surveys showing some Americans are still wary of getting the shot. And News Nation correspondent Janelle Fort traveled to Mississippi where thousands of appointments are going untaken. She joins us live with that story. Janelle. Well, Marnie and Ashley, the latest concerns over the Johnson & Johnson shot could be a big blow to an already uphill battle, convincing skeptical Americans that COVID-19 vaccines are safe and effective. In Mississippi, more than 87,000 COVID-19 vaccine appointments sit unclaimed. I think that um, people here in Mississippi are very leery. Vaccine hesitancy abundant in the Magnolia State, now magnified by the recent announcement of concerns over the Johnson & Johnson shot. Pam Chapman sees it firsthand. What did you see today once they made the announcement? about the Johnson & Johnson vaccine being put on pause. I saw a lot of uh, disappointed uh, people today. Chapman's company shuttles residents in Mississippi's rural Delta region to mass vaccination sites. She says what fuels the state's lagging metrics is twofold, skepticism over vaccine efficacy and accessibility. There are a lot of people here in rural Mississippi Delta that uh, doesn't have transportation, uh, does not have internet uh, to register to get the vaccination. Which is why the Johnson & Johnson shot being one and done enticed so many. The worry, those who were considering taking it, will now forgo being vaccinated altogether. Mississippi's Department of Health trying to ease those concerns. We're talking about a, a rare complication related to one of the three vaccines that we have. Um, and then the risk, the relative risk of, of the vaccine, even with this horrible complication, is so much less common than death with COVID. Today in the state's capital, the view is a stark contrast to some of the long lines we've seen in other cities. Short wait times had cars in and out at the ballpark housing a public mass vaccination site. It's one of our best sites. We're pushing more people through here than... The National Guard manages the site's 20 hubs, overseen by Lieutenant Colonel Jeremy Parker. If we would all come together and get the vaccine and get get our percent up, we can we can put this pandemic behind us and the way it's affected our lives for the last year. Mississippi isn't alone in the struggle to reach herd immunity. Tennessee, Arkansas, Alabama and Georgia are all also grappling with low vaccination rates. Experts now looking for solutions. Mayors, uh, board of supervisors, people in the faith based community, any, basically any tool that's available to encourage people to come get the vaccine. Uh, we are trying to leverage. And as research begins in what caused those blood clots in the six women who took the Johnson and Johnson shot. It's a waiting game to see how far reaching the long term implications are. I think it's a bit early for us to, to know what type of, of impact this may have on on hesitancy. Uh, I think we need to certainly it's um, it's going to be something that we're going to have to wait and see what the what the final um, recommendations are from from CDC. And another part of that waiting and seeing is what happens in the coming days to see if what happens with the Johnson & Johnson shot is permanent, this pause, or if it's not. Reporting here in Mississippi, Janelle Ford, News Nation.